In most small Texas towns, there are a few folks left who are really good at spinning a yarn. Palm Rallette is serious about spinning her yarns in a unique way. Spinning yarn takes on a more literal meaning for Pam and her family because they breed and raise yarn on their farm in Lindell, Texas. California red sheep are unique because they are born a cinnamon color and they keep that color on their head and legs throughout their lifetime. Pam gets together with friends in her community to share this craft in what has become known as the East Texas Fiber Festival. We are celebrating fiber, we're celebrating heritage. Uh, spinning, weaving, um, creating of yarn, we're celebrating the artists. This is my hometown. I have sheep and I wanted to learn how to process their wool. I do knit and so I decided that since I wanted to learn, there were probably other people that wanted to learn as well. So I decided to start a festival and bring folks to the hometown here. Uh, Lindell is a great place. It's the country music capital of East Texas, so why not make it the fiber capital of East Texas? It's a way to bring a sense of history to her community. History of a craft that has been around for thousands of years, but is fading into the abyss of commercially produced yarn and fibers. The cannery building, it was an old functional cannery, and they've reconditioned it to make this fabulous pavilion that we're having our festival at today is 100 years old. Fiber has been around for thousands of years. That's how we started making our clothes, weaving and spinning thousands of years. There's a lot of technology now, and people buy things online. They don't get to feel it, touch it. They don't get to experience how things are actually made. So with this celebration of fiber and the fiber arts, we're able to show people and teach them some of the skills that our ancestors, our forefathers used to make clothing, uh, make coats, make hats. For Pam Rallette, spinning yarn is her way of bringing people together and rediscovering tried and true methods of creating using the art of hand-woven fabric. It has to do with the heritage, preserving the heritage, 